Hey friends, good morning. My name is Mr. Jim and I work at the Fayetteville Public Library and I'm really happy to bring you another toddler story time today. Our library is open if you would like to come see the new spaces or get some books to take home and our curbside pickup is also still an option as well. We're still going to bring you virtual toddler story times for the foreseeable future so you can catch a new one every Thursday morning at 10 a.m. I'm really glad you joined me today. In today's toddler story time we're talking about a holiday that's coming up. Do you know what holiday is in a few days? This holiday has lots of red and pink and white and sometimes you see hearts or candy or flowers. This holiday is called Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is Sunday. Valentine's Day is all about love. Love is a really, really good feeling that you have in your heart. It means you really, really like someone or something. You can love lots of things. You can love your family. You can love your friends. You can love your pets. You can love people or places or things. Love is a really good feeling. And that's what we're gonna talk about in our picture books and songs today. Before we get started talking about Valentine's Day and love, why don't we sing a good morning song? We're gonna sing my favorite good morning song. It's called Open Shut Them. To start Open Shut Them, we put our hands up like this. Can you put your hands up like this? Can you open and shut them? Very good. Here comes my favorite good morning song. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Now creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth, but do not let them in. Good job, friends. Give yourself a round of applause. I hope you didn't really put your fingers in your mouth. Then we'd have to go wash our hands. Let's sing that one more time. Hands up one more time. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Now creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth, but do not let them in. Oh, good job, friends. One more time, give yourself a round of applause. Yay! Thanks for singing a good morning song with me. That one's really silly. I like doing that one first thing in story time. Like I said before, love is a really good feeling that you can have in your heart and you can have lots and lots and lots of love in your heart. Big love is my favorite kind of love. The bigger the love, the better. And so in our first book, we're gonna read a big book about love. This book is called Guess How Much I Love You. And this book has big nut brown hair and little nut brown hair. And they're gonna tell each other how much they love each other. This book is by Sam McBratney. Sam wrote the words to this book. And the illustrator is Anita Jerom. There are three things that I like to do when we listen to a story in story time. The first thing that we do is we make sure we're sitting down on our bottom so that we can use our eyes to see the story. Thanks for sitting down with me today. The second thing we do is we put our listening ears on. <laughs> Here are my ears. They're on and listening. Where are your ears? Oh, there they are. Very good. And the third thing that we do is we make sure that we catch a bubble in our mouth. <gasps> and blow it out slow. <sighs> catch another big bubble. <gasps> Very good. That helps us turn our voices off. Our ears are on and listening, and we're sitting down so that we can see the first story, Guess How Much I Love You. Are you ready for this story? It's a really good one. Let's read this book together. Here comes the story. Little Nut Brown Hair, who was going to bed, held on tight to Big Nut Brown Hair's very long ears. Do you see those long ears on Big Nut Brown Hair? My ears aren't that long. Are your ears that long? No. Little Nut Brown Hair. He wanted to be sure that Big Nut Brown Hair was listening. Guess how much I love you, he said. 
Oh, I don't think I could guess that, said Big Nut Brown Hair. Look at Little Nut Brown Hair. He's talking right into Big Nut Brown Hair's ears. I love you this much, said Little Nut Brown Hair, stretching out his arms as wide as they would go. That's pretty big. Big Nut Brown Hair had even longer arms, but I love you this much, he said. Look how wide his arms are stretched. Hmm, that is a lot, thought Little Nut Brown Hair. I love you as high as I can reach, said Little Nut Brown Hair. Look, he stretched his arms all the way up. Can you stretch your arms all the way up? That's pretty high. I love you as high as I can reach, said Big Nut Brown Hair. That is very high, thought Little Nut Brown Hair. I wish I had arms like that. Look how high Big Nut Brown Hair got his arms. And there's Little Nut Brown Hair all the way down there. That's a really high love. Then Little Nut Brown Hair had a good idea. He tumbled upside down and reached up the tree trunk with his feet. He's upside down. I love you all the way up to my toes, he said. And I love you all the way up to your toes. Look how high Little Nut Brown Hair's toes are now. Big Nut Brown Hair swinging him up over his head. I love you as high as I can hop, laughed Little Nut Brown Hair. Can you hop like Little Nut Brown Hair? Hop, hop, hop. Bouncing up and down. But I love you as high as I can hop, smiled Big Nut Brown Hair. And he hopped so high that his ears touched the branches above. That's so high. That's good hopping, thought Little Nut Brown Hair. I wish I could hop like that. I love you all the way down the lane as far as the river, cried Little Nut Brown Hair. I love you across the river and over the hills, said Big Nut Brown Hair. That's very far, thought Little Nut Brown Hair. He was almost too sleepy to think anymore. Then he looked beyond the thorn bushes, out into the big dark night. Nothing could be farther than the sky. Look, now the sky is getting dark. It's almost nighttime, almost bedtime. There's the moon and I see some stars too. I love you right up to the moon, he said, and closed his eyes. Can you close your eyes like Little Nut Brown here? Oh, that is far, said Big Nut Brown Hair. That is very, very far. Big Nut Brown Hair settled Little Nut Brown Hair into his bed of leaves. He leaned over and kissed him goodnight. Then he lay down close by and whispered with a smile, I love you right up to the moon, and back. That's a lot of love. There are so many different ways that you can show people that you love them. Little Nut Brown Hair and Big Nut Brown Hair used big and little, far and wide to show how much they loved each other. What are some other ways you could show people that you love them? You could give someone a hug if they wanted one. You could give someone a kiss if they wanted one. You could make them a gift and give them a gift or a present. There are so many different nice ways. My favorite way is just to say, I love you. So many different ways that you can say, I love you to the people that you love, friends. Thanks for listening to this story with me. Guess how much I love you. That's the end of this story. So we say, the end, the end. Thanks for listening. Let's talk about some more ways that we can say, I love you to the people and things that we love. Let's sing a song together. We're gonna sing one of my favorite love story time songs. It's called Skinnamarink. And in this song, we get to wave our arms and our hands around like this. And we get to say, I love you in different ways. Are you ready to sing this song with me? We'll sing it twice if you don't know it.
Start by putting your hands up like this. And can you wave your hand around and around and around? Good job. Here comes the song. Skin a rinky dinky dink, skin a rinky do. I love you. Skin a rinky dinky dink, skin a rinky do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening underneath the moon. Skin a rinky dinky dink, skin a rinky do. I love you. Good job, friends. Give yourself a round of applause. Let's sing that song one more time. Hands up, one more time. Skin a rinky dinky dink, skin a rinky do. I love you. Skin a rinky dinky dink, skin a rinky do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening underneath the moon. Skin a rinky dinky dink, skin a rinky do. I love you. <laughs> Good job, friends. Give yourself a round of applause. I like that song a lot. Thanks for singing it with me today. We can also say that we love people with our hands using American Sign Language. Today, I'm not going to show you just one sign, not just two signs. I'm going to show you three different signs that you can use to say that you love someone or to say Happy Valentine's Day. The first sign is for love. To do this sign, you take both of your arms and make two fists and you cross them right over your heart. This is the American Sign Language word for love. Love. The next sign's a little tricky. You only need one hand for it and you need three fingers. We're gonna take our thumb, our index finger or pointer finger, and our pinky finger. The other two fingers go down. If you need to use your other hand to hold those two fingers down, that's okay too. So we have one, two, three fingers. Thumb, pointer, and pinky. When we put these three fingers up, it's American Sign Language for I love you. I love you. I love you. Lots of different ways that this can say I love you. The last thing we're gonna learn is how to say Happy Valentine's Day. This is the word for happy. Can you wave your hands up in front of your chest? Happy, very good. To say Valentine's, take your middle fingers on both hands and we're gonna draw a big heart in front of our chest. Valentine's. Draw a big heart with your middle fingers over your heart. Valentine's. The last one is the sign for day. To say day, take an arm with a flat hand, your other hand in a pointer finger, and bring it up like the rising sun. Day. Now let's put them all together to say happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. We learned how to say love. We learned how to say I love you. And we learned how to say Happy Valentine's Day. Good job, friends. Give yourself a round of applause. I'm really proud of you for doing all those signs. Thank you very much. Let's read another book together. We're gonna read this book. This is a really special book called Love Bugs. What shape is this book? This book is in the shape of a big red heart. We see lots of hearts around Valentine's Day. This book has some other things you might see around Valentine's Day. This book has lots of made up bugs in it shaped like Valentine's Day things. Let's see what's in this book and see what kind of bugs we can find for Valentine's Day. Love Bugs, a pop-up book by David A. Carter. Are you sitting back down with me? Did you put your listening ears back on? Did you catch a big bubble in your mouth? Very good. If we do those three things, we're ready for the next story. Love bugs. Let's see what we can find in here. Look, there's two little Cupid bugs. Cupids have bows and arrows. More Cupid bugs. Cupid bugs are everywhere. Look at all those Cupid bugs. They're flying around in some clouds, shooting arrows 
through the air. Look at their bows, pull back the string and shoot an arrow. Look at this bug. It's got a big mouth, ah, man, man, man. About one thing I have no doubt, the love bug will bite you if you don't watch out. Do you wanna be bit by the love bug? I can think of worse bugs to be bitten by. But look, the love bug has so many hearts around it. Can you bite your teeth like the love bug? <laughs> love bug bites. Have you ever gotten a bug bite before? Bug bites are itchy, 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 scratchy, scratchy. Maybe the love bug would make us feel love in our hearts if we got bit by it. Let's see what other bugs we can find. Look at these two bugs. Those are two very silly bugs and they're making kissy faces. Can you make a kissy face? And look, there are kiss lips all over the pages. Being in love means lots of hugs, especially for kissing bugs. Look at those kissing bugs. They're giving each other a big hug. What's our next bug gonna be? Ooh, these bugs look tasty. Hey, what do these bugs look like? They look like a box of chocolates. Look at these silly bugs. Would you eat these chocolate bugs? No, that would be gross. Or maybe they'd be really sweet. I don't know, I've never eaten chocolate bugs before. I love you so much, I really can't eat. But maybe you're hungry. So here's sweets to the sweet. It's really nice to give candy to your Valentine sometimes. Are you ready for the next bug? Oh, what's the next one gonna be? <gasps> look at these bugs. What do these bugs look like? They look like pretty red flowers. At Valentine's Day, sometimes you see red roses and that's what these bugs look like. Because I love you as I do a dozen rose bugs just for you. Will you help me count these rose bugs? How many is a dozen? Let's count them and find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. A dozen rose bugs means twelve rose bugs. Thanks for helping me count those. Will you be my love bug? Oh, that was very nice. These bugs are all ready for Valentine's Day. We saw Cupid bugs and chocolate bugs and rose bugs and the love bug. Seeing all these different things can tell us that it's almost Valentine's Day. These bugs were very nice. Thanks for helping me look at all these different bugs for Valentine's Day. That was love bugs. Thanks for listening to this story. That's the end, so we say the and the end. Good listening, friends. Bye, love bugs. Look what the love bugs left us. They left us, what are these? Hearts, pink and red hearts. They left us Valentines. Sometimes you'll get cards that say different nice things for Valentine's Day. How many hearts did the bugs leave us? One, two, three, four, Five. five hearts, pink and red ones. I know a rhyme about five little hearts that I'd like to teach you. Will you do this rhyme with me? We'll do it a couple times so you can learn it with me. Here comes the rhyme. Five little hearts all in a row. The first one said, I love you so. The second one said, will you be my Valentine? The third one said, I'll be yours if you'll be mine. The fourth one said, I'll always be your friend. The fifth one said, friends to the very end. And that's five little hearts. Good job, friends. Why don't we do the rhyme one more time now that you know the words with me? Can we do it one more time? Here we go. Five little hearts all in a row. The first one said, I love you so. The second one said, will you be my Valentine? The third one said, I'll be yours if you'll be mine. The fourth one said, I'll always be your friend. 
The fifth one said, friends to the very end. And that was five little hearts. Good job, friends. That was really nice of the love bugs to leave us five little hearts. And they all said different things to us. Maybe you can make a paper heart at your house and you could write different things on them to say, I love you. This one says, I love story time because I really like story time. Thanks for doing five little hearts with me. Maybe you can make a Valentine sometime. Let's sing one more love song together. This one's gonna practice our sign language from earlier. Do you remember how to say the word love in sign language? Love. This song has some other signs too, like the sign for friend and family. Friend, family. Let's sing this song that sounds a lot like Three Blind Mice. Are you ready for this song? Start with the word love. Love, love, love. Love, 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 see how it grows, see how it grows. I love my friends and they love me. We love each other and then you see. I love my friends and my family with love, 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 love. Good job, friends. Why don't we sing it one more time? Will you sing that song one more time with me? What do we start with? Love. Love, 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 love. See how it grows, see how it grows. I love my friends and they love me. We love each other and then you see. I love my friends and my family with love, 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 love. Good job, friends. Give yourself one more round of applause. That was really nice to sing. Thanks for learning more signs with me. Friends, I had a lot of fun with you in story time today. Thanks so much for listening to the picture books, for learning all of the different sign language that we did today, and for singing some songs too. I hope you have a really happy Valentine's Day if you celebrate that. If not, remember all the ways that you can say I love you to someone or to something, and I hope you have a great day. Before I go back out into the library, I'm going to put my mask on so that it's covering my nose and my mouth and I don't spread any germs in the other places in the library. Will you sing one goodbye song with me before we go? Can you wave goodbye like this? Do you remember how to say friend in sign language? Very good. Let's sing a goodbye song and then I'll see you next time for toddler story time. Goodbye friends. Goodbye friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Sing it one more time with me. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Thank you so much for coming to Valentine's Day Love Story Time. Remember that you made today special just by being you. Happy Valentine's Day. We love you from Fayetteville Public Library. Have a great day, friends. Bye.